the details tonight at 9 after hours of questions and debate. The Illinois House approves legislation to expand the state's vote by mail program ahead of November's general election. WGN's political reporter Tamon Bradley live in Springfield for us again tonight with details on this vote in the special session. Tamon. Joe and Micah, good evening. The House wrapped up about, or the Senate rather, wrapped up about 15 minutes ago. The House, an hour before that. There's still a lot of work left to do, setting up drama for tomorrow. To request a mail in ballot. By dinner time, debate raged over a massive expansion of Illinois' vote by mail system. There are two certainties one in life. One, that we will see the sunrise in the morning, and the second one is that we'll see voter fraud in November. It provides greater access to folks on election day and during early voting. And this bill having received the constitutional majority is hereby declared passed. Democratic back measures sailed through the House 72 to 43. The bill calls for election officials to send vote by mail applications to voters who cast ballots in recent elections. Also, the bill makes election day a state holiday and allows for the hiring of more election judges in the event older poll workers back out of the job. Republicans called it a partisan power play. Governor Pritzker dismissed their concerns. Republicans, generally speaking, have been in favor of suppressing the vote all across the nation. The budget remains the legislature's biggest assignment. Before the pandemic, Governor Pritzker proposed increasing spending for some vital services. But now the state faces a staggering budget hole. Today is much different. I mean, obviously, we are in a much different situation for our state. Despite the deficit, Pritzker suggested he's probably not going to sign off on massive cuts. Uh, here, our job is to take care of people, our, that is to say people who are in need. For now, Republicans say they'll wait and see what the final product looks like. Our budgeteers have been working on it. Our budget review staff have uh, gone through it in depth and haven't gotten much sleep lately. The House kicks things off tomorrow morning with an executive committee hearing on the budget. Live tonight from Springfield, Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Thank you, Tamon.